Hello, people. This is Keith and Modesto with my next episode of uh, Let's Play Minecraft using Feed the Beast and Direwolf 20's mod pack. I have been successful in programming my turtle. As you can see, I've already uh, filled this tank uh, with quite a bit of lava. Uh, that was so I could test it. I never actually took the turtle out to my turtle proving grounds. I just I just got into it and, and just tested it right here. But anyway, I just did add something to the program, though. Um, I, I was just having it do, I, I just had it set up for a loop, and when I, you know, needed it to stop, if it didn't stop by itself because of an error or something, I would I would just do it, I would just go in and do a control T to terminate it. Uh, but of course, the way I set it up initially is I want, well, eventually I want to have it set up so that it will be always running and will be able to tell when it needs more lava in this tank and we'll and go ahead and get it when uh, when necessary I'll be doing that by using a uh, a gate uh, from guild from buildcraft excuse me uh, at least I think this should work but uh, but that's a ways off so until until I'm ready to do that the way I'm going to be using this program is just um, by typing get lava and then however many round trips I wanted to make, like say two, that would mean I wanted to go and get lava and bring it back twice. Now, um, actually I guess I could show you here what I've gotten, what I've done, get lava. It turned out to be a little more complicated than, uh, you know, there's all kinds of little wrinkles I didn't anticipate. Okay, so I already have it set up so that it's going to take, if you type in um, argu arguments when you, uh, when you invoke the program, it already it's already set up to uh, to take them and I have it set so that if you don't put any arguments it will just set the round number of round trips to one otherwise it will set the number of round trips to however uh, many you tell it to do um, we got all this stuff for for keeping track of the state and we got the colors here so it can tell if it needs to turn left or right go up or down I have uh, I have the check fuel function which I don't think I've actually used yet uh, okay, they detect wool up and they detect wool down, detect the blocks up above it and below it, uh, determine the color of the block. They detect wool in uh, in front, uh, detect wool detects the wool, the color of the wool in front of it when it gets stopped. Or maybe I should just go to the bottom here. I'll go to the very bottom, the, the main loop controlling the uh, turtle. Here we go. I marked it off with this, uh, I put in a comment, main program starts here because in Lua, there doesn't, you know, if you're programming, programming in C or C++, the main program would be, you know, would start with main, main opening brace, and then at the end of it would be a closing brace, but Lua doesn't seem to be, you know, it doesn't work that way, you just, it's kind of unstructured, so to speak. Uh, uh, anyway, so I have I have these uh, the state equals get state get saved state and set state equals state forward is there um, tempor temporarily this is part of my you know uh, this initial stage where it's kind of run manually eventually when I have the gate set up and it reads how much lava is in there and and sends out a red redstone signal that the turtle will be picking up uh, these will get commented or, or out or removed anyway okay so here's the main loop while the number of trips is greater than zero so if, if you know if the default is one so and when that's the case it'll run this loop once otherwise it'll run it however many times uh, number of trips is and this is the part I haven't tested yet I just put this in okay then it sets the state to uh, let's see then it checks to see what the gets what the saved state is okay and actually like here see I set the state I, I set the state to, to state forward because because uh, normally the turtle whenever I whenever I come over here to uh, tell it to go get me more lava it's going to be sitting right here at the uh, you know at the destination tank and it's going to be facing the way it's going to be uh, you know going straight to get to the source tank to get the lava so I want it to uh, I want the state initially to be that it's going to be going straight forward so I so I, I set it to that and then okay and then the way this loop works is it's it it um it it uh, determines what state the turtle is in and uses that state to figure out what it should be doing right so um, 
And th th this first this first statement, state equals get saved states, uses the uh, the cobblestone block that's going to be in one of these slots uh, to determine what state it w it's in. You know, in case it, you know, uh, in case it was, it's in some state from a previous game gaming session, right? Because I want this to be able to eventually to be able to, to be running all the time. So when when the turtle starts up, because it's just you know I've just opened up the game, uh, it could be in any state, and it needs to figure out what state it's in. So I wrote this this main loop that controls the turtle to not assume what state it's in, but to you know, to, it first, the first thing it has to do is find out what state it's in. Okay, so then it starts checking what state is it in. Um, I mean, it, it starts it, it starts to uh, tell the turtle what to do according to what state it's in. All right, so if it's in the state forward state, it should move forward. So it goes to this function, move forward. Uh, see, so if, and if it's state down, it goes moves down. If it's in state up, it moves up. Uh, and if if the state is in state stopped, then it, it uh, it's going to be either unloading lava or offloading lava depending on if it's at the destination tank or the source tank. So these statements here, these if and if else statements are um, used to detect what color of wool is you know nearby, red or black, and that will tell it if it's going to be offloading lava or, or loading lava. Also I have, I use, um, since there's a possibility of of, uh, of it getting to its destination after traveling up or traveling down instead of after traveling forward. I, ha I also do detect wool up and will detect wool down to cover those cases. And then, uh, and then we check to see what the old state was because if, see, if, uh, well, why did I put this in? I have to think about this. If old state equals state up, then. All right. Okay. So if it was going up or down, I need to check whether it was going up or down before the gaming session ended and I started a new gaming session so it can. Oh, no, wait, that's not why that's there. Oh, okay. This is after the, this, uh, this if right here, if old state equals state up, then set state state down. That's here because this is within this if else if statement uh, that has to do with the state being stopped, right? Which means that it's either at the destination tank or the, uh, it's either at the destination tank or the source tank, and it's just either off offloaded or unloaded. Um, offloaded or uploaded lava. And if that's the case, uh, it either needs to start going, f it need, it's either, if it was, if it, this is a little, this is what was a little weird. The way, the way, uh, with the setup right now, where the destination tank is right now and the lo and the source tank is right now, it gets to the tank after going forward, right? It, it's, and, I, and I'm going to demonstrate this in a moment. Uh, it, it, uh, it goes forward, goes down, and then goes forward again, and, and then it's at the uh, the uh, source tank where the the source of the lava is, and then it it does the uh, load lava by doing some turns to get to the right orientation, sucks the lava out of the tank, and then it needs to, and then it turns again so it's going back the other way and it just goes forward. Now if it if it was always the case that it just got to a tank after going forward, all I would ever need to do is tell it, you know, to turn around and then go forward again. But since I've already kind of taken into the account the um, the case where it's reached its destination after going up or going down without going forward again, you just you know, like the turtle goes up a you know, a couple of blocks and then there it is at at the destination and the tank it, it wants to deal with is right there. Uh, that means I need to handle the case where after going up, getting to the tank, doing whatever it has to do, it then needs to go down, right? It needs to go the opposite way. And unlike, unlike the other one where it's, you know, it's going forward and it's going to be going forward again after turning, you know, I need to, I need to, I need to be able to tell if it just went up or it just went down. So I had to add this uh, variable, which keeps track of, of what the previous state was before the state it's in now. That's the old state. That way, I can check right here after it's either loaded or unloaded lava. I can check whether it was, it just was coming up or it was just going down. If it was just coming up, then I need to tell, I need to make the new state go down. 
Whereas if it's if it just went down, I could I make the new state go up. Otherwise, it's going to be going forward, which is what old state should already be. So I just set st set state to old state. That covers any other case. You know, if something weird's going on, it show that if it if it's not you know if if the old state wasn't going up or going down, then the state should be the old state should always be going forward. But I just wrote it that way, just just as a precaution. All right. So so once all is that. So, oh, and then the last one is. Else, if state is equal to state loss, then it prints this help. I'm lost statement. That's just to take to care take care of any weird thing where it got you know something went wrong with where the wool blocks were placed or something. Um, okay, and that's that's let's see. And then the last thing. So there, and there's a break. If uh, if it's in the in the lost state, then you break, and that should break out of uh, that breaks out of this main loop and should end the program. And then, oh, okay. And then okay. And then initially I was. I thought this is where I would put the I would decrement the uh, number of trips uh, counter, but that would not work because the way this is set up is you don't know. See, I, I wanted this program to work with any set of of destination and source tanks because later on, you know, after I use up the lava in the pool that I, I've got this set up for right now, I might want to I want to set things up so I can get lava from a different pool. So, which means I don't know. I don't know how many times it's going to go through this. Uh, it's going to be going forward and then turning left and then turning right, and so it could it could go through this loop any of number of times uh, in only one round trip. And I don't know how many, depending on on how I use the turtle in the future. I don't know how many times it's going to go through that loop. So I actually I actually only want to count a round trip when it's offloaded lava, right? Because it's going to go get lava, then it's going to come back, and it's going to offload lava. And if I wanted to do it multiple times, you know, that's when that's when I need to decrement the number of trips counter. So here in the function which offloads the lava, which it does by, I have this print statement just, you know, to, so I can see that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Anyway, so when it gets when it gets to uh, the destination tank right now, and and I, and I always have to set it up this way. It, it comes to the to the red block of wool, and then it knows, oh, I'm I've reached the destination tank, and the destin ta destination tank is always going to be on the left, right? So it turns left, then it drops this tank dot drop drops the lava, all the lava it has in the tank into in its own internal tank. It takes all that lava and puts it into the tank in front of it, and then. It uh, turns left again, so it's all ready to go back the other way, and then it decrements the number of trips uh, counter. Number of trips equals the number of trips minus one. I also haven't tested this because I just added this in and then saved it. Then it's going to go back to the main program, uh, the main this main while loop, which will check to see if number of trips is still greater than zero. If it's now zero, then it'll be done and it'll stop. Uh, it'll it'll be out of that loop and it'll reach the end, the very end of the program, and, and um, the program will finish. Otherwise, it'll uh, it'll go through the, the while loop again. Uh, and that should work. And so we're going to test it right now. All right. So I'm going to exit. So what's going to happen is when I when I uh, when I invoke this program, the turtle will start taking off that way. I've got my jetpack on and it's got. Uh, it's about halfway. It's a little less than halfway of, of a full charge, which is plenty for this. Anyway, so here we go. Get lava, and I'm not going to put in anything, so it should just go once. Okay, see, we like to move it. Move it means uh, it's going forward. Now it's going to turn left. It's going to go down. I'm going to jump. Okay, I dug out more of the tunnel so I can just follow along with it. If I let's see. Hmm. I'm missing. There we go. See, it's got all the statements. Okay, now it's uh, going to suck some lava. You should see there. See that gap? See how that went down? That was it sucking the lava. Now the pump is going to put more lava into the tank. I will hurry up and catch up with my turtle. It's reaching the blue block. It goes up. Turns right. Oops. Okay, I got. I messed up. I walked in front of it. Okay, I'm just gonna turn, and it should have put more lava in there. Uh, okay, I, I didn't get there soon enough, but I think it did. I think it worked. And if I come over, if you come over here, you can see the tank. The peripheral is there on the right. Yeah, it put the lava in. 
Let's let's uh, let's do two more trips. Let's try two. Two. So now I should do that twice. While it's doing that, uh, my so my next step here is to. Uh, I need to build some uh, pipes and uh, and a redstone engine and start pumping this lava to these geothermal generators. And I need to make a few more geothermal generators to take advantage of the uh, extra power I'm going to be having. Let's see if this turtle's on its way back. There it is. There we go, it's got a full tank of lava. Let's get ahead of it and get in position so we can see if the level goes up. I think we missed it again. I did, I did go up. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, the next step of my for, for programming my uh, this program, uh, which I'll probably do tomorrow, is to add in a tell it to check its fuel level and automatically unpack some of the some of the lava that it has in its tank to refuel itself. Right now I have to do it I have to do it manually because I haven't added that in yet. There's zombies up above me because it's nighttime. There we go, there's the turtle. Let's get in position again. When it when uh, when it unloads the turtle it happens I mean it when it unloads the lava it happens very quickly so you have to be you have to be watching. Right, here's, there we go. Saw it? It went up. Okay, good. And now it should be done. I only did it, told it to do it twice, and it worked. All right. So everything's perfect. And I got a full, almost full, column of lava here in my tank. All right. That's excellent. Okay. So what I want to do first, um, I'm going to get this ready. I'm going to be moving these. And I'm gonna dig underneath because I'm gonna I'm going to change it so that the cables are running underneath these uh, machines. I guess I guess this can go right here. All right. And I do not have enough cables now to reach the whole way. Let's see if I have any more over here. I might have to make more. Oh, I got some more. Okay. So this should be enough to start off with. I'll probably I will have to make more of those cables. Okay, there, 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 there. Okay, they're connected back up again. All right, so uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be running the pipes that are going to bring the lava to uh, these geothermal generators. Well, these two. These these aren't geothermal generators, just these two. But there's going to be more. I'm going to have more over here. Um, there, the, I'm going to have those pipes uh, along the back. So I, I, I move those cables underneath. Now, so the first thing I want to do is making is to make those pipes. So for that, I need some. Oh, I have it already. Okay, so I need glass. I think glass on the outside. I need some wood, and then we need wood. Okay. So, well, I guess it's wood on the outside and glass in the middle. Right. Okay. So that gives me eight wooden. Transport pipes. I actually don't need eight. I only need one for now, but you get eight, so that's what I got. Okay, but I need to waterproof that because lava is a liquid. Those uh, these pipes need to be waterproof, and that means I need to change this stuff. I need to make some uh, waterproofing, and I, since I don't have any cactus, I have to use this method to do that. Okay, and then do I just put it back in here? There we go. Now it's waterproofing. Now if I take one of those, and I, since I only need one waterproof pipe, I'm just going to make one. And so I got one waterproof wooden pipe. Okay. Uh, put this back. Now I need some. Uh, uh, I need more pipes than that, but the rest of the pipes have to be. Um, they can't be wooden. You can only use the first pipe is wooden, but the other ones have to be. Uh, cobblestone or stone. Okay, so let's get 16 of those. And uh, I, which means I don't have enough waterproofing, but this will be enough to start. 
Okay, so I put my pipes down here. Okay. So I want I attach the wooden waterproof pipe to the tank right there. All right? And then the uh The other pipes go right here. Oops, I don't need that one because that's not a geothermal generator. Okay. It looked like it attached though. No, it didn't. Okay. Actually, I might as well put these there because I'm going to have more geothermal generators along this side. Okay. So, now, so I have all my pipes set up and they are waterproof so they will hold the lava, but there is no lava flowing and that is because there has to be a redstone engine or some other kind of engine, but I'm going to use a redstone engine uh, to, uh, to actually power uh, to actually power the uh, ow, the pumping of the lava out of the tank. Okay, so to make a redstone engine, I need redstone and wood, and I need a wooden gear. Let's see, actually, I need two wooden gears. So there's two wooden gears. Okay, let me check what else. Let's see, maybe I can just remember what the recipe is. I know there's a piece of glass that goes right in the middle, and I guess the redstone's going to go on the bottom, and the gears on the bottom on either side, and I'm guessing I'm going to just along the top. No, that is wrong. Okay, so I'm going to have to look this up. Engine. Redstone engine. Oh, it's a piston. And the piston has, of course, the piston has the redstone engine. Uh, the redstone in it. Okay. So I need to make, uh, let's see, so for this I need, I need iron. Okay. Let's see, was it iron Iron down here? And then wood up here? And then cobblestone here? No, don't remember again. Okay, so, oh, okay. Not that much iron, but more cobblestone. There we go, there's a piston. Okay, I got my piston, and I only need one. Thank you very much. Okay, so now, piston on the bottom, Gears on the sides of the bottom, glass in the middle, wood on the top. Gives me a redstone engine. Okay, now I need a lever. One lever. For a redstone signal to tell the engine the redstone engine to do its thing. Okay. I need to get that on my hot bar. Dun -dun -dun. Oh, but first I need to dig right there. Okay, so the engine's gonna go right there. The lever is gonna go right here. Now it starts to move. At first, kind of slowly, it'll speed up eventually. But there, you can already see lava going down the pipe, and it will reach the first one. And there, they're lit up because the battery box was low. These were out of lava, but now they have lava and they're running and they're going to charge up this battery box because they already connected the cables up and after this bat box is all charged up the, gen uh, the geothermal generators will automatically turn off they, they only actually start generating electri electricity when it's needed but they will still fill up with lava um, as you can see there's there's this uh there's some internal storage in the generator so this will fill up with lava it'll be it'll be uh, red when it's full and uh and that will be cool all right, so that'll be that. Now, my next step is to make some more geothermal generators. There's quite a few steps involved with that, so I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get that set up off camera. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, see, I've been using this uh, project table uh, pretty much just as a crafting table with the added benefit of it has this internal storage where I can, I can keep things. But I haven't been using this slot right here, which is, what, is, which is where you place a plan. I think they're called a plan or a template. Uh, which you can use to store recipes. I haven't been doing that. I'm gonna set that up right now, though. I'm gonna. Uh, I guess I can do the first one on camera, but uh, then I'll do the rest off camera. I think I need paper. I need paper. I think I need paper. And I need indigo dye, which should be over here. Pur no, that's purple dye. I need indigo dye. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Uh, I, th I guess maybe you put the paper here and then. There we go, and then we get a number of blank plans. There we go. And then you take the blank plan and you put it, put them, oh yeah, just one at a time, okay. So I put a blank plan in there, and then I have to put in here the recipe I want to copy, and which one do I want? I want a geothermal generator, right? So 
uh, before I can do that, I need to make a generator. Uh, so let's make a... And I also need batteries. Why don't we make a recipe for a battery? Battery. Okay, so tin, copper cable, and redstone. Copper cable, redstone. Tin. And we'll have one cable. Okay, there we go. Now, over here, you see I have the battery I want. Uh, and then I have this little button that just uh, popped up, which, it, which uh, <clears throat> allows me to copy this recipe to the plan by just clicking on it. Then I'm, now it's a RE battery plan. When I hover over it, it tells me what ingredients I need, right? And now I can just pull out the battery. But the thing is, see, if I take the plan out, I, well, of course, I can still take out the battery. But look, watch this. I'm going to take all this stuff out, right? Uh, not enough room for that. I need that. So we'll take out the charcoal. Okay, so all the ingredients I need are down here, right? I take the plan and I put it in the slot. And you can see there's kind of a ghost image of the recipe. And since all of the ingredients I need are actually in the internal inventory, the project table can tell that. And uh, it shows right here that I can make a battery, at which I do as I normally would by just clicking on it. Whoops, and there I have a battery. Now, if you look up here, you see uh, the... Uh, the spot where the cable is has gone red. That's because there's no more cable down here. I don't have any. I have the other things, so they're still they, they're still showing up. They're not red, right? But the cable's red. That's telling me I need, need <clears throat> I need to make more cables before I or these are copper cables. I need to make more copper copper cables before I can make more of these batteries. Uh, anyway, so that's basically how the project table works with plans. I'm gonna make. Uh, the plans I need to make geothermal generators, get that all set up, make sure I have all the ingredients, and then I will come back and, uh, and make the, some more geothermal generators. I'll make at least two more. Maybe I'm going to try to make four, and, and then we'll be able to place them uh, right there, and we'll do that. All right, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, people, I'm back. I think I'm ready. I made a number of plans and uh, got all the ingredients I think I need. So, let's see, I will show you. I've got the plan for a geothermal generator right here. It requires four glass, four empty cells, one generator, and two refined iron. I place that over there, and it and it uh, kind of ghosts in all the ingredients. None of these are red, excuse me, which means that I have all the needy, needed ingredients to make this one geothermal generator. Okay, so I'm gonna grab it and put it, excuse me, put it in my inventory, and and there it is now. The, uh, one of the ingredients just turned red, that is the uh, generator, it requires one generator. So, I need to make more generators, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm, I'm shooting to make four of these geothermal generators right now, so I need to make three more generators. That's normal generators that run on coal or coke or, or uh, you know, wood logs. Okay, so, to make more of these, I need more batteries and more um, iron furnaces, okay? So and since I'm gonna want make, <clears throat> I'm gonna want three of these, I need to make three uh, batteries. So let's do that first. Three batteries. Oh, and I need more cables. Uh, and I need uh, I need three cables. Okay, so let's do that. Cable, cable, cable. Okay, here's the cable plan. Bam! I got me six more cables. That's enough. So I will take that away and put down the battery. Okay, so I one, two, three, three batteries. That's what I need. Now I need, what was I going to make? I was going to make more generators. I need more iron furnaces first, though. Okay, so where's my iron furnace? Iron furnace. Okay, that's just a bunch of uh, iron blocks. I want, I think I want three of these, so let's grab three. Okay. There we go. Now there's the generator plan. All right, I got everything I need. So I'm going to click this three times. One, two, three. Got three. All right, we're good. So, let's see if we have enough to make more geothermal generators now. I th Oh wait, so it, we, uh, well if I click this once, I got one more. But uh, my, my empty cells, I need two empty cells. I've got a recipe for making empty cells, which is just 410. And uh, you get 16 with one go, so I just click that once and I have more than I need. Okay, so now I put my geothermal generator plan back and I make one more. I have... Uh, actually, I was going to make four, wasn't I? That's right. So, there we go. I got my four geothermal generators. Just killed some spiders upstairs so they wouldn't make a lot. Uh, those cows are making a lot of noise, though. Okay, so I got my geothermal generators. I'll come over here. I'm going to put them back here. So we have one here, one here, one here, and one here. Okay, now, if I look back here, they sh the, the, uh, 
The piping already connected automatically, which means they could be filling up. Maybe they're going to fill up? It might take a little while for them to fill up. But they should be filling up. Anyway, uh, but I need to connect the cables underneath. Do I have enough cables? I need to make some cables. I need... Uh, let's see. Got to get under there, so I'm going to take out this... Oh, look at there, some copper. Okay. All right. Uh, so I need some cable, and I will just come over here and get some cable. How many do I need? Excuse me. I guess I just need four. I think I need four. I'll get five just in case. Okay. Do I have five? I need some more cable. So, cable plan. Where is my cable? cable? Uh, copper cable plan. Okay. Six more. Okay, so now I got nine. That's more than enough. Let's see if it's connected over here. No, I need one right there. There we go. Did I need that? You know, I'm not sure if I needed that. Let me look. Hard to see. Let's get rid of that. Um, actually, I think it'd be better if I... I don't want extra connections. It might make loops or something, so I'm gonna make... I'm gonna put that right there. There we go, now they're connected. Good? Alright. And now I'm going to place this back. I think I can get one there. And there, 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 there. Actually, I got stone for this. What am I doing? It'll look a little better if I use... Oops. How did it do that? I got some laggy. Okay, I had some lag going on there. Okay, so that'll that'll look. This will look better if I use a uh, stone. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and I don't have what I need to cover that up, but eventually I will. Okay, so these should all be working now. Uh, it looks like the lava's been flowing. Oh, there. So you can see there's a little sliver of red. That means this has been been filling up. This one has more because it's closer. You know the. The lava flows this way, so the ones that are closer get the lava first, so they fill up faster. Eventually, they should all be full, though. Right? There, you don't see fire in the front here because since this bat box is, both of these bat box are, boxes are fully charged, it, uh, the geothermal generators don't need to run. And look at that! I'm uh, getting low in lava, so why don't I get some more? Uh, get lava. Oh, actually, first I need to check the fuel level. Uh, that should be enough. Okay. So get lava. Let's try uh, six times. And that'll that'll fill the thing. Should fill the thing up pretty. Actually, it should be more than enough to fill it up. Um, and I think I think that just about does it. So um, that pretty much is the end of the episode. Uh, I've uh, successfully programmed that turtle to uh, retrieve lava from me from that distant lava pool and uh, fill up this tank, which is supplying lava through these pipes to my geothermal generators, which are keeping these two bat boxes charged, which run my macerators and electric furnaces and so now uh, my next my next step in expanding my processing power I might not necessarily do this in the next episode but but I'm going to want to build some um, mag magmatic engines magmatic engines which uh, output um, minecraft jewels which can be used to run other machines these are industrial craft machines but I also want to use uh, build craft machines in fact this is a this is a railcraft machine, which uses run, uh, which is which uses Minecraft jewels. These are Stirling engines, which run on on charcoal or coal or coke. I had to I had to use this to make um, uh, to make some tanks, which which I needed to make that tank turtle. I couldn't use this kind of tank. I had to use a different kind of tank from railcraft. So I had to, you know, I had to put this in here temporarily. I will be. Uh, you know, I'm still going to be using the rolling machine for other things, but it, it won't be powered by these Sterling engines. I'm going to be using magmatic engines run on running on lava. Uh, anyway, so I'll need to uh, probably clear out some area around here so I have some room to uh, to install those. Hmm. Is it getting lava? Oh, it is getting lava. It's just being pumped out really fast. Okay, good. I was a little concerned there. All right, so. Um, I think that'll be it for today. This episode, I think, has gone on a little too long, but what can you do?
Anyway, so thank you for watching. I will, ugh, I will see you later. Good evening.